What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we have another monument in this crazy season of cycling. We have Il Lombardia. So strange to be saying that in August but I am so much looking forward to this race. Of course we're going from Bergamo to Como in northern Italy. Let's take a look at the start list. So then I have sorted the squads by ability as always and it seems Trek Sigafredo have the strongest team this year with Nibali, Molima and Giulio Giacone. Interesting to see what kind of form these three guys are in. Then we have Fusang alongside Alex Vlasov who has been riding so well throughout the year. We then have Betio and Woods. Carapaz leading Ineos. We have Shackman as well, a very strong contender. Then, of course, the main man, Remco Evenepoel. And to me, this man has to be the favourite for tomorrow's race. I can only see a Remco win. However, we do have Matthew Van Der Poel, And if he can get over the big climbs, he will be in with a chance. We also have Diego Ulissi, who again, been riding very, very well throughout the year. We have the likes of Kelderman up next. Also, George Bennett, who won recently in another Italian race. We then have some outside favourites. I'll, I'll uh, quickly scroll through the rest of the teams, including Tim Wellens, uh, maybe Rudy Millard as well. Pern Steiner leads Bahrain. We have Cataldo. No real favourites in the rest of the squads with so many races going on at the same time. Maybe Giovanni Visconti, worthy of a mention. He is a very good rider, now 37 years old. And guys, I cannot help myself here. We're going to take Remco Evenepoel to victory and try and win his first monument of his young career. 20 years old, this man. We know already he is incredible. Will he win his first monument today? I'm certainly going to try and do it in PCM. So then the 2020 edition of Il Lombardia gets underway. Remco on a very, very nice plus two day. Sadly, Almeida on a minus day. He's definitely our best domestique. Although the likes of Dave Nens, Baggioli, Seri, Casano, all very good riders and... In this one, we're going to keep everyone in the peloton and just try and focus on Remco. We don't need to waste our energy in the breakaway today. So we're some way into this race and we're still having attacks from the peloton trying to join these four riders at the front. You can see Hananen really struggling with the current tempo and the riders attacking behind are making them have to work very, very hard for now. So finally, it would seem that the peloton do sit up and the riders in the breakaway are scattered all over this climb. But I do want to try and predict what will happen in this race, both in game and in real life. So I reckon Remco is going to win. And then my shouts for the podium are Diego Ulissi. He's been riding really well, as I've already said. And then maybe Alexander Vlasov for third place. That's my kind of prediction for Il Lombardia this year. Oh boy, so we've just had a fall in the peloton, including Zhao Almeida from our squads. And it seems Almeida is out of the race. What a shame. But apart from that, Vincenzo Nibali falls as well for Trek. He will get back in. I think it's not a big gap, but for us, Almeida is done for the day and that is a great shame as I just mentioned. So we now have just under 100k to go and now we finally see the tempo really increase in this race. It's Trek Sigafredo and Jacopo Mosca on the front. I've sent a few guys to the front as well but Trek pacing really hard and I'm going to for the first time have to really up Remco's tempo here just to stay to the front of the peloton. So we near the top of this climb and we now have some attacks from the peloton. Ben Hermans, Mark Padoon and I think that's Jesus Harada uh, rather than Jose Harada, his brother for Kofidis attacking off the front and are they going to be allowed clear here? Remco looking okay still in the peloton of course just sitting in for now haven't quite launched one of his trademark long out attacks uh, but are these guys going to be allowed out of this group? Seems they're being hunted down. So the thing is with Remco is he is so strong on the flats. Our guys are working at around 80, 75 on the front. I'll put them up to 82. And Remco can just cruise along at 59, not even working really, despite a really hard tempo. He is such a strong rider, particularly on the flats. Here we come then. The breakaway holds a one minute leads on the peloton. Herman, Serrada and Padoon have been allowed clear and almost bridging to that group. So turning out to be a decent little move for those guys. But we go uphill for the longest climb so far. And then we go into the Colma di Sormano, of course, 
definitely the toughest climb of the race. So the race really hotting up right now, 70K still to go. So we have a brief section of downhill right now. We've lost a few riders and I currently have Baggioli and Honor on the front of the peloton, uh, but Remco looking so, so strong. Down to 21 riders in this group as some strong favorites have been caught out here and are behind the likes of Chicone I can already see in this group. Let's concentrate on our guys though to the front um, and we'll up these guys tempo to actually maybe 87. I'll try and grab some water quickly as well with this gap forming here. That could be a good opportunity. I wonder who has been caught behind. So the likes of Vlasov and Ivan Sosa are now in this big 66 man group behind. I think they will come back on. So you can see I've put Baggioli up to 90 on the front. He's gonna absolutely hammer the tempo on the Colma Diesel Mano right now. The breakaway is long gone and hopefully we can drop most of the other favorites right now. And could we even launch one of Remco's trademark attacks at this stage? We have Nibali, Molma and Shackman right ahead of us. Are these guys going to go for a long out attack as well? So we're now down to 35 riders. Vanderpool still doing well to stay in this group. We've lost all our teammates. Only Dave and Enns remains. 26 riders are in this group now. Betiol is gone. Izagire is gone. And Remco looking so, so good, I must say. We can pace at 75, but Vanderpool still in this group. And that is very worrying indeed. Betiol trying to fight back in. Gashka looking good. And now we come onto the steeper section. Max of about 20% on this section. I think Dave and Enns pretty much done. And this could be our chance up to 17%. Can we maybe make a move with Remco with Nibali working on the front and we're in a perfect position right now. And there we have it. Vanderpool is done as we reach this section of climbing. Vanderpool can go up to maybe 92 and this is a great opportunity. Remco Vanderpool on the attack in Il Lombardia. 48k to go. We're going to put in a big attack right now. Only Molima, Ulysses, Carapaz and hardly even George Bennett can follow. We're going to go 90 with Avenipool over the top of this climb and we have Molima sat on our wheel. Ulysses and Carapaz trying their best to follow and we have a group of four riders at the very front. Then Bennett, Fusang and Woods just behind. Then we have Shackman, Big gap to Nibali and Moscow. And then we have Wellens and this group further back. So I'm going to try my best to work hard with Remco, Molima, Carapaz and Ulysses. All seem willing to work with me right now. I really want to keep Fulsang, Woods, Bennett and Shackman behind. Especially Shackman. He can really sprint and obviously Fulsang so strong. If we can keep those guys behind, that will be absolutely perfect. I'm very happy to be in such a select group at this stage. And so can we work hard enough now? Molima pulling pretty hard on the front. I'm willing to pull at 80. Carapaz pulling as well. That gap, 35 seconds currently to Shackman, Fulsang, Bennett, Woods. Nibali has caught on with that great downhill of his. And then a massive gap back to those guys behind. This could be a battle between the front couple of groups. But can we hold off? This group led by Bennett at the moment. So 27k to go. This group are still behind, but I do think they may make the catch on this flatter section. Uh, Ulysses on the front, but Shackman, I think, is going to do that final bit of pulling his here. And yes, he does. I will sit up with Remco as Nibley will now come to the front and work for his teammate Molima. Nibley, not the leader today. They're going for defending champion uh, Balcom Molima in this one it seems. So into the tunnel, then we are downhill into the Chaviglio of course, trying to recover just a little bit with Remco right now as we have Nibali on the front. He does seem to be done and I would like to recover that bit of yellow. 20k to go, we're not going to win this in a sprint so we do need to be a little bit careful here with Remco. I'll pace a bit on the front um, maybe sit up again though. Not quite sure how to play this here. As we have Diego Ulissi on the attack. We need to jump in the Italian's wheel. Diego Ulissi going for his first monument of his career as Nibli straight out the back. But Avenipal doing a fantastic job to stay with Ulissi on this climb. And we have three riders off the front again. We have Ulissi, Molima and Remco. But Molima trying to attack as we can't really see what's happening through the trees. But Molima... Going off the front briefly by himself. We have Ulissi behind. Carapaz trying to bridge that gap. Shackman is done. Bennett is done as well. Those guys burnt all their matches on the flat, it would seem. I need to catch 
Balcomolma on this climb with ramp coat. I'm just going to push it up to 90. Can we zoom in a bit just to see them through all of these trees? Carapaz has done a great job to catch us. Fulsang trying to bridge that gap. We have no reds and Molma pulling away on these hills, going for his second Il Lombardia in a row right now. We need to work together to try and catch the Dutchman, I think. So here we go, cresting the top of this climb and Diego Ulissi is done. He's just about dropped off the back. He's trying his best to cling on and I'm gonna follow Carapaz on this downhill. He's a better downhiller than Remco and I'm almost out of energy completely. We need to recover and Carapaz going away on this downhill section. It's not ideal at all for Remco. We really need to recover with Monoma going away on the front and it really is these four riders who will win Il Lombardia right now it seems. I'm gonna try my best to rely on Carapaz but Monoma looking unstoppable to me. Here we go then, 9k to go. I've really relied a lot on Richard Carapaz on that flatter section. Uh, I'll try and work with him a little bit, but Carapaz seems to be the strongest man in this chasing group. Monoma holds a nine second lead as we come into the finale of Il Lombardia. I don't think it's gonna be Ranko's day. We're doing our best to stay with these guys. Ulissi looks good. I'll just pace at 80 maybe. Ulissi is now done as Carapaz does catch Balco Molima. Remco trying so, so hard to hold on to these guys' wheels, but he's really struggling. Maybe we can now go up to 95, punch in a little attack over the top. We need to drop them. Molima's done. Carapaz is done and Remco Evenepoel going for victory, going for his first monument. And you know what? I think we've got it. I do think we may actually have this. I cannot believe it. Remco, so, so strong. We have 4k to go. Molima and Carapaz trying to catch up, but 3k to go downhill to the line. I think we've got this. Oh boy, what a move that was by Remco. This boy is unbelievable. He's unstoppable. On his way to the first monument of many in his career, Molima and Carapaz will fight out second place, but this will be for Remco of Ennepool. What a man. What a cyclist this man is. He can celebrate. He has won his first monument of his career. It will be Richard Carapaz beating defending champ Molima into third. And what a race that was. Diego Ulissi, very valiant effort in fourth place. And then a massive margin to actually Demarkey doing very well to round out the top five. There we have it then, guys. Remco Evenepoel defeats Richard Carapaz and Balco Molima. Also Diego Ulissi to win his first monument and Il Lombardia. And I absolutely loved that race. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. That was so, so fun. Demarkey. Very good job by him to finish in fifth. But I think Fusang will be very disappointed with that one. Same with Shackman and also Velasov. He was absolutely nowhere in this playthrough. I think he'll do a much better job in the real thing. Anyhow, guys, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it today. Drop a sub as well if you're new. We're heading towards 2K and that'll be absolutely amazing if we can get there. Tell me what you thought in the comments below. I will see you guys in the next one. Oh,